Look on Congresswoman Kat Kamek of Florida is here, a member of the House Homeland Security Committee. Congresswoman, always terrific to see you. What do you make of this hypocrisy? And by the way, the migrant flights that were coming in in the middle of the night into New York State and to Westchester County, no one would have ever known about those if not for the reporting of the New York Post. No, I mean, this is the height of hypocrisy. I mean, you think about the 78 flights alone that came into Jacksonville, Florida in the dead of the night that took a freedom of information request by members of Congress to get that from the Biden administration. Yet 50 illegals get flown into the playground of the rich and famous, you know, home of Barack Obama, that all of a sudden they're outraged. And keep in mind, that Obama was the original architect of the so-called kids in cages. But now they're on their front doorstep and oh my goodness, we have to get the military involved. I have to give a hat tip to one, Governor DeSantis for his, his shrewd acumen on this and for having the courage to take the fight to those on the left, those that choose to ignore and as in his own words said, virtue signal, but also to you and the entire Fox team. You guys are the only network that has been covering this epic crisis crisis that we have been facing. No other network has touched it. They don't even want to acknowledge the $2 million that the Democrat-led city of El Paso has uh, allocated and the 25 charter buses that they've been sending out to sanctuary cities. But it's only when Governor Abbott and Governor DeSantis take action that it becomes newsworthy for them. Shame on those networks. Shame on these Democrat-led cities. And shame on the Biden administration for ignoring the public health, humanitarian, and national security crisis that he has created at our southwest border. Congresswoman, the New York Post has a couple of op-eds with headlines like this. With Martha's Vineyard's mm -hmm. meltdown, maybe Dems will finally understand illegal immigration problems. And also this. Dems are upset that DeSantis has made them look in the mirror on migration. And the fact that, just to use one example of many, Corinne Jean-Pierre calls moving migrants um, to other places in the United States, cruel. What's cruel is laying a foundation where human traffickers and drug yes. traffickers profit from human misery and suffering and even death. Whether it's the hundreds, again, as the United Nations, and Governor Greg Abbott mentioned this in the last hour, the United Nations says that our southern border is the deadliest in the world. There yes. are hundreds of migrants who've died, what, 51 who died trapped in a tractor trailer. But then yes. also the thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands of Americans who die from fentanyl poisonings. Where is yes. the, where's the outrage over that from the left? Well, what we've seen from the left is that they live in an alternate reality. That's just the, the fact of the day. They don't see the cruelty at the southwest border because they refuse to go there. They want to live in this alternate reality where their open border policy is somehow humane. No, it is inhumane. I can tell you firsthand, having been there five times, that what's inhumane is the cartels that viciously gang rape young girls as young as nine years old. I have seen this myself. It is the Human trafficking that takes place. It is the over 100,000 families that have lost loved ones because of the fentanyl that has been peddled and trafficked across the border. The only thing that is inhumane and cruel is the Biden administration's open border policies. And that's what's going to change. And Americans will never forget the open border policies that have simultaneously created a public health crisis, a humanitarian crisis, and a national security crisis, allowing members of the international terrorist watch list to come across this border and gang members, drugs, they have destroyed our national security in that respect I, and we will not let them forget it. Before we go, Congresswoman, California Governor Gavin Newsom is also calling out Ron DeSantis yeah. and Governor Abbott, calling on the Department of Justice to consider kidnapping charges. He tweeted this, I'm formally requesting the DOJ begin an immediate investigation into these inhumane efforts to use kids as political pawns. It seems like that Gavin Newsom tends to wake up to these issues when he can use it as a political weapon, but not before.
Yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of concerning the obsession that California Governor uh, Newsom has with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. I think there's maybe a hint of jealousy in the fact that we are the freest state in the nation and our education is, is top in the nation and, you know, they're falling at the bottom of every bad list uh, California is. It's a very strange dynamic. I mean, he should even talk to his own in-laws who fled to the free state of Florida. But I think Governor Newsom would be better if he focused on the issues in his own backyard, the homelessness, the drug crisis, the people that are fleeing so much so that he has to run ads in other states telling people to come home. He's got to fo focus on his own issues before he comes at my governor, Ron DeSantis. And, and I'll also really quickly point out that at least one county, I believe it's Santa Clara County in, yeah. in Northern California is distributing a Narcan in all the high schools because of the fear wow. and the danger related to fentanyl overdoses in our high schools among teenagers. Just heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. I, I mean, as a parent, I, I can't even imagine having my high schooler come home and say that the, I got Narcan today. Absolutely heartbreaking. Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamek, thank you for being here. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.